Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. I'm excited to share with you my sweater weather tablescape for the fall and Thanksgiving, so let's get started. Okay friends, I had so much fun going through my entertaining closet in my home actually and pulling things so that I can put together a kind of sweater weather themed tablescape. And I'm and this is what I was trying to work out for Thanksgiving because I'm hosting this year. And so I wanna take you on that journey with me. So I always like to kind of pull things and see how it looks together before clearing the table and getting started. And so now that I have a clear table in my dining room, I'm ready to really put this baby together. Now I did buy, this here new from Tuesday morning and it's a throw that actually feels wonderful and soft and looks like a sweater and that was kind of my inspiration piece actually and I needed two of them because I have a very long dining room table but I was thinking as I was doing this that this really this tablescape would really look better and more fabulous on a smaller table because it could be so elegant so cozy um, but I am definitely going to do it with my table also you all remember my dishes from a few years back and they have a very traditional feel to them I got them at Marshall's but I love them because they have a little bit of that silver that I love in it, but still keeping with the traditional uh, feel. So I'm basically using this as my table runner, the throw as my table runner. And it's just a warm and cozy feel for the fall and also for the winter. You definitely can incorporate this into a Christmas or winter, ta winter tablescape. And then I'm going to put down my bread plate because at Thanksgiving we typically don't have salads so I'm going to use this as the bread plate for Thanksgiving and I also have the coffee cups to go with this but I'm not using them on this tablescape and you all remember my pumpkins for I've had these several years now I got them from Pier One. I don't know that they still sell these, but they have so many different um, options on the market where you, if you want this, you can get it. And this is great for the butternut squash soup. So I love that at the holidays and it's a great starter for Thanksgiving. So this tablescape fits my love of the neutrals and the white pumpkins and also keeping with the aesthetic of my home. So I just kept with that tone and, it, and playing off of the plates that I have also. So I wanted to keep that theme going. Now, one thing that I love doing, and you might notice this throughout the years with me, is that I love putting individual features with my tablescape for each person. And I wanted them to have their own personal lighting. So by using a white wine glass, you put a tea light candle in it. And I took these shades off my chandelier in the living room to place on top of each one of the wine goblets. And there they have their own personal lamp there. Kind of like when you're in the fancy restaurants and they have the little lamps there. This is really just an elegant way to do it. I love the clear, how the glasses are clear. It really keeps the table open. And then you all remember these. I've had these several years also. The little name plates here. I'm not doing individual names. I'm just going to do for the female and the male and put them at their places. I thought it'd be fun. Along with my Pier One goblets here, you all recognize these from over the years also along with my napkin rings that I got uh, I want to say about three four years ago now I did have this also which I've never used and it came I got it when I got the plates also but I thought as I was doing this tablescape this would be perfect as a centerpiece and I would keep it simple by just adding some branches. And so when I was in Tuesday morning the other day and I got the throw, I found these branches and I thought, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut them down a little bit. I think they're a little too tall, but I think that they add the perfect touch without being too much. And so I think with the having the individual lamps and things like that, I really wanted to keep this center more, you know, simple. Now I'm going to use my actually ice buckets. I have two of them and I'm gonna use that for the bread so that I can put bread at each end of the table. And my goal here was to make sure I had things for like the cranberry sauce and for you know all the different little tidbits that we add with our meal to have those directly on the table such as the gravy and I'm putting one on each side of the table so that way it makes it convenient as my guests are dining so that we don't have to pass so much we have to do a little passing but you know by having just two sets it makes it easier especially also with the butter so I'm going to put um, the butter out also and then another thing that I loved is that um, I wanted to add a little touch of green on the table, but not um, too much. And so I had these little um, goblets here and I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put some fresh rosemary and a cinnamon stick in it when it gets closer to Thanksgiving. I just stuck that greenery in there now just to kind of see how that would uh, play out. And I really love it. So that's what I'm going to do. So this is it. This is, I think, how I'm going to keep it. Um, very neutral, very cozy. I love that they all have something special and the individual lights and then I use my uh, cute little salt and pepper shakers there and I'm good to go. 
So friends, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my sweater weather themed tablescape. It was so much fun sharing it with you today and I have so many fun things coming your way. I also want to remind you that I did start a second channel, a pet channel. It's At Home with Bentley and Albert. I'll put the link below. I would love for you to join me over there. I hope you all are having such a beautiful day. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.